Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching my playlist, Garden With Me. For a long time, I've been trying to capture a time lapse or a video of a monarch butterfly hatching out of its chrysalis, and I finally was able to capture one. So in this particular instance, I was able to find a chrysalis that had just changed color and was going to hatch at any moment. So I trimmed off the leaf, brought it inside so I could hear when the GoPro battery died and wouldn't waste any time in between swapping the battery just in case it had started hatching. This is the time-lapse version. It runs about seven minutes, and if you're interested in a longer version, the real-time version is about 20 minutes. Please hit that subscribe button with the notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you didn't already know, I am a hobby gardener and I love observing the monarch butterflies I have in my yard and garden. So today we're gonna to be talking about what happens inside the chrysalis of a butterfly, particularly the monarch butterfly. I'm getting all my information from sciencing.com and I will have a link to what I'm reading in the description below so you can read more about bug science. The transformation of a caterpillar to a butterfly takes place in the chrysalis or pupa. The butterflies go through a life cycle of five stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Um, one, two, three, four, that's four. This is a science website, not a math website. <laughs> Am I crazy? Okay. Inside the chrysalis, several things are happening and it is not a resting stage. The caterpillar's old body dies inside the chrysalis and a new body with beautiful wings appears after a couple of weeks. caterpillar spends most of its time eating. Hormonal changes occur and the caterpillar loses interest in feeding. When it's time to become an adult, it finds a sheltered safe spot where it transforms itself. The transformation or metamorphosis starts when the caterpillar spins a little silk pad. Some chrysalis hang upside down, but others support themselves on tree branches or create a silk hammock. The change inside the chrysalis is slow and gradual. The caterpillar's body digests itself from the inside out. The caterpillar is attacked by the same sort of juices that it used in its earlier life to digest food. Many of the organs are hidden in the caterpillar and they take a new form within the chrysalis. The old body is broken down into imaginal cells, but not all the tissues are destroyed. Some old tissues pass onto the insect's new body. During the first three to four days, the chrysalis is a little bag filled with rich fluid. The cells use the fluid to grow and form a new body. Imaginal cells are undifferentiated and they can become any type of cell. Some parts of the caterpillar's body are more or less unchanged, including the legs. Underneath the caterpillar's skin, the beginnings of wings form and it sheds its skin for the last time. The chrysalis loses nearly half of its weight because the metamorphosis consumes energy. A couple of days before the butterfly emerges, the chrysalis changes color. The butterfly's pattern and color can be seen through the chrysalis. In my experience, it's usually only taken a little over one week before the butterfly hatches. I'll start to see the color change after seven to eight days. The butterfly breaks out of the protective chrysalis and pumps blood into its newly formed wings. It takes about an hour, maybe an hour or two 
for the butterfly to pump up its wings fully, and it still takes a little while for it to fly away. And they stay pretty close to the ground, gradually working themselves higher up into a tree or a bush where they can get some wind and, and then eventually fly away. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And until next time, happy gardening.